Welcome to Odd Jobs. Today we're going to be putting in one of these battery operated uh, timers, irrigation timers. It runs on whatever four and a half volts. Um, they're made by Orbit. They're innovative and so they're, they're quickly moving up the ranks in affordability and, uh, and versatility. So I'm encouraging everybody to give Orbit a try. It's all the same. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna look into these two things today. Stick around here. Yeah, so we're out at, at Liberty Way Farm, and Eric set up this garden uh, in between the orchards, and uh, and so we're gonna irrigate it. He's running the the wobblers, and if you want to have a look at how to set up wobblers, you can check out this uh, video we did a couple of weeks ago, and uh, we're gonna we're just gonna keep on going here. Most all irrigation valves, when you buy them, they come standard with a solenoid actuator on them. These solenoids are 24 volt AC solenoids. Uh, since we're running the battery pack here, these battery operated ones, we're going to have to use a different solenoid. We'll get to that in a minute. But for now, I'm just going to prep this. I'm going to put a little bit of a uh, put a little bit of Teflon tape on them. Teflon tape is not necessarily mandatory um, because how national pipe threads work is that there's a slight taper to them. So as you tighten them up, the threads the threads get deformed, kind of ruined. That's why you can only use these fittings once, maybe twice. And each time you, you reuse them, you have to tighten it even tighter to deform the threads to make the seal the, the joint. Uh, putting tape on it, it just reduces the wear on the threads so that you can reuse it again and again. Kind of redundant. Most times I don't even bother. Um, but being that it's outside, it's good. These, these fittings are going to go from hot to cold and hot to cold and hot to cold. When the sun hits it and there's no water moving through it, it's going to get very hot. And then when the water starts moving through it, it's going to get very cold. So uh, plumber's tape helps. Any kind of Teflon tape would work, but just use whatever you like. Anyway, that's that's kind of lo the logic behind it. There we go. It's tight enough. This is the prep work. While we're here, we might as well uh, put the solenoid on. So the solenoid here, these ones here, they come with the system and it has a it has a plug here we have uh, four controllers so this one controller can actually control four valves and we can set up four separate programs and control four different watering watering zones so if you go with the system here, the, the orbit system, you only need one spring, one, one of these controllers to control up to four of these valves, which makes for a pretty good deal. But that means that you're you're you know you're splicing wire, you're running irrigation wire. Uh, for now we're not we're not investing into that. But I can see in the very near future, if these things if these things last a year, then it's worth investing in them in more of it. So so that's that. So this here, when you pull this off, be careful that you don't lose the actuator. Pop it back in there. Uh, they, they pop out and then, it, you know, you, you lose it or you're missing the spring. So tighten it up there. Just snug, snug it up. It's an O-ring on there. So if you reef on it, you ruin the O-ring. Don't do that. That's ready to go. That's going to go in line. Since this irrigation zone is going to be operating wobblers these uh, wobblers require up to 25 psi so 25 psi pre water pressure or less um, so we're going to be putting in this pressure reducing valve anything that goes in no matter what the pressure is only 25 psi comes out the other end on the valve we see that there's directional arrows okay this is the only way the valve is going to work if you put it if you put the water flow the opposite way of the arrow it will never work so keep that in mind. Going this way, here. So 
So if I've hooked it up correctly and everything's tight, I should be able to turn this valve on and nothing will come through here. Ready for the big test. Oh, we got a little bit of a leak here. So we have to tighten this up. Where's it coming from? Coming from there. Okay. Okay, once we have the valve all piped up, then we can turn our attention to the controller. So the controller has this, uh, just a cam latch on it, and it opens up, and that becomes a watertight seal. And this pulls straight out. See, there's a gasket here. That's gonna be a watertight seal. Underneath, you'll see it has it openings here, and the batteries go in there, three AA batteries. The life expectancy of these batteries is one year. But I'm thinking if you live in the temperate climates where you shut down your irrigation over the winter, these things should be taken out then. There's a pin key here. All of the pins and these get plugged into this receiver on the other side. And once it's in there, you're in there. We have this set on, on off right now. By turning the outside dial, we get to set everything. So the time is 9.40 a.m. Oh, it's just, it's gonna go into overdrive. Nine forty-one. Good. That's to set the time. A.M. Set the date. You guys with me on this? It's twenty twenty-five. Hit the over button. It is the seventh month, and it is the fourth date. Congratulations, and uh, you guys out there having whatever. Uh, Independence Day, whatever your 4th of July celebration is, congratulations to our American friends. And then we can put our start times. And here we've got uh, two different modes, A and B. And so uh, A, we're going to start it at uh, by 15 minute in increments here. We're going to try and get, we're going to try and hit 945. See if it comes on right very soon. A. Okay, we don't start time two. We can set up three and four. And that is for uh, A and zone one. But we can move all the way up to uh, to the next one, right? Uh, that's one, two, three, four, four zones. Uh, program B, you can set program B as well to go one, two, three, four zones. Sorry, do that again. And B has got one, two, three, four zones. So that gives you two different watering times on four zones. Awesome. Uh, how often do we want to do this? We want to do this every day. That's it. Next. How often? How long? Um, Eric, Eric likes, uh, sorry. Station two, three, four, station one. We're gonna go 45 minutes. Eric likes 45 minutes for some reason with these sprays. That's it. Uh, station two, nothing. That's it. Water budget is better be at 100% and leave it at 100% uh, unless you have rain sensors or solar sensors on. Then you put it to the off position, then you put it into auto. You lock this up. Got two minutes to go. On the back, number one, see how it says number one? We're gonna pull this plug out and that's what we're gonna plug the solenoid into. So before I plug the solenoid in, we have this, uh, this holder and this holder, I'm gonna feed it through here like this. Um, however, and set it on there. And the wire here, it's got a key. 
that fits in the slot, in it goes. Right? Now it's armed. And it's going to start up whenever it's ready. It just started up now, it turned into 945. So it's running. You just heard the valve kick in. This is awesome. Let's go see how it looks. So Eric has the wobblers down this row. I don't know what he's even planted, but it's pretty exciting. It's so cool. So there, that's it. Uh, it was actually pretty, pretty quick, pretty simple, pretty, pretty amazing. We got some sprinklers going here in the orchard. Awesome. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If it helped you in any way, you can hit that super thanks or you can, uh, you know, subscribe, like, send me, uh, send me a message. This is awesome. Thanks for watching Odd Jobs out here at Liberty Way Farm.